Good afternoon, I'm Jane Caffrey, and here's what's happening right now. The search is on for whoever is targeting pickup trucks and breaking into them in Berlin. Police say the state's board of pardon and paroles continues to face intense criticism from Republicans in the General Assembly and the families of crimes. Well, we've got sunshine and warmth on the way for the day, but the windy and dry conditions are creating high fire dangers. Let's get right over to meteorologist Brian James with the details. And with this warm up, people have been headed all over the state to soak up the sun. NBC Connecticut's Michael Fuller has more from Wilkett Park. Well, if the warm weather is making you long for some summer fun, good news because opening day at Lake Compounds is just 17 days in states. And while you probably don't need the heat on this week, well, we've all been dealing with sky high prices for everything from electric to gas and oil. And now a program called Operation Fuel that helps you pay those bills is ending. I'm Jane Caffrey and here's what's happening right now. Windy, warm and dry conditions continue today. The fire danger still at a dangerous level. We want to head right over to meteorologist Brian James. He has utility bills from electric to gas and oil have all skyrocketed. A program called Operation Fuel has been inundated with calls and applications for help so much so that they have to put their applications on pause early. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joas explains. News. Ramadan food boxes will be distributed in New Haven on Saturday. Islamic relief coming up in 60 seconds. The celebration continues for UConn. Change this morning. Last week, the basketball team captured their fifth national title. And here's a look at what's coming up at for a warning from the FBI. Don't use public phone charging stations. We'll tell you all about juice jacking and how to avoid it. Plus, state lawmakers are discussing prison sentences today. Why activists say prisoners shouldn't be released without any input from victims and their families. Senator Blumenthal still recovering from breaking his leg at the Yukon Victory Parade Saturday. We have an update on his duty on he's doing. We'll see you back here starting at 4.